Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima from Walking Archie World. Today we are going to do the classical hike to the highest summit in Alicante, Sierra de Aitana. Climbing to 1557 meters altitude, it is a circular 10.5 kilometers long route of medium difficulty that has 600 meters of elevation change. And it should take us 4 or 5 hours to complete. We'll start from Fort de Partejat de Benifato, ascend to Font de Forata, and take the technical pass Paseta de la Rabosa before reaching the roof of Alicante province Sierra Aitana. We're sure it's going to be a fascinating trail full of beautiful nature and rock formations as well as the diverse route. So we're ready to get started! just began to walk this trail and it's already splendid views around and it brings up your mood instantly especially in such sunny and warm day and it's spring like feeling around yeah so we are following the trail in anti-clockwise direction going towards Port de Tudons and uh, following the CV21 uh, trail for now we see the signs probably we won't need the GPS so much just enjoying this first moment The kilometer part has been amazing. We could enjoy lots of blooms and blossoms around. We feel like we're in the middle of spring and it is true, we think. It is like the end of March and we can see lots of these yellow bushes which smell like honey, you guys. It is amazing, the smell. You have to just smell it yourself <laughs> in order to believe, but yeah, it's all around. Environment is very peaceful and calm. And yeah, so can't wish for more.
now we've been following the quite easy slope climbing up, reminiscent to the farm road. Sometimes it's narrow, sometimes it's wider, but it's been nice and easy. And we've been just talking about how this place is reminiscent to us to Pyrenees because you have like hazelnut, white thorn and wild rose all around, which probably find this climate appropriate for them to grow, which is cooler than at the sea coast, but still it is very, very close. And to us it is a wondrous phenomenon, you know, to know that we've been living so far in the mountains and thought that it is the unique, you know, flora and fauna. But it's not completely the truth. And even close, close to the sea coast here in Alicante, you can find similar bushes, trees and plants. So it's been very nice to discover that and be in this atmosphere that we love. To our surprise, we've noticed quite a lot of sources and springs along the way. And it means that there are more birds and wildlife that can live and prosper in this area. And it is wonderful. It is a known fact that where there is water, there is life. So we're glad to see here so much water and greenery around. Here we face the most challenging part. We're going to climb this rock foam behind us. Yeah, and, and the trap before was all easy and very gentle, as we said. And this is uh, why this trail is a medium difficulty, we think, because of this technical pass. But we believe it's not going to last long. It's just a little part, mm -hmm. right? Where we will climb over these rocks and then pass through the crevice in the mountains. And also we'll be going through some canyons. But it's going to be a nice adventure, I think, a nice, you know, uh, varied terrain, which is always great to have. The weather has been nice with the cool wind and with a very strong sun. So, yeah, it's been a great start.
arrived at Passet de Barbosa, it was quite an easy pass. Nothing extreme, you know, you have the chain to hold on to. And also, like, you know, uh, quite a trodden path. But yeah, and now we have in a very unusual place with vertical walls, and as you can see all around me. It is like a very deep gorge, a canyon, which is really unexpected to see and it's so beautiful. You can see like the karsting process happening on the mountains, lots of holes and ravines. And it was said that uh, something that contributed to that was the glacier that was here millions of years ago. And there was lots of water and ice that took shape of all the crevices of these mountains and it contributed to their, you know, to the forming of the gorges after the ice was melting and, you know, was growing bigger or was melting. I'm not sure about the process exactly, but I think it's mesmerizing to know about this process. And yeah, just be in such magical place. Uh, yeah, we have never been in such a place, we think. <laughs> got to the peak Gaetana of 1,500 meters. This is actually the alternative peak, it is not the actual peak. And on the actual peak itself is located the military base on the left hand side from us. We're not gonna film it, so you won't see it, but it is there. But this alternative peak is just 30 meters uh, lower yeah. than the actual one, so it's not a big deal. The way to eat is very easy. The slope is gradually climbing up and the views are incredible. You can see most of the province of Alicante, we think. Yeah, definitely we can see the Puch Campana that we climbed and did the tour of and also many other places that we visited, like Guadalest Valley, the Sierra Elada that we did the hike recently also and all of the places in the sea coast, of course, and mountain ranges are wonderful, so it is very well worth it and because the climb is easy, as we said. Only that part of Rockfall was a bit more challenging, but all the rest is, is great. But we'll show you around on the way down. If it's gonna be more difficult, we don't know. <laughs> but hope that not, and it's gonna continue as a pleasant walk. Been sitting here at the side of Aitana for half an hour or so admiring this view and yeah we can see all the mountain ranges and also we can spot the Ibiza island far far in the distance but I think we can see the silhouette of it and it was said that on some clear days and under some special conditions you can even see the Mallorca island 
the neighboring provinces, you know, mountain ranges of Castellón and Murcia. So it is a great spot for observation and for getting the best views in the province. One of the fun facts is that this mountain range is called the Sierra Madre, which is like the mother, uh, mother range for the province of Alicante. Uh, obviously because it is the highest summit, but also the important factor is that here on Aitana can be found the most amount of snow in a year. So when there are the colder winter days, here the snow appears the first and stays for longer. Even though it can be only a few days, normally it's just several days a year, but still it is a great phenomenon which we observed on our previous hikes and it's like uh, amazing to see here, so close to the sea coast, Mediterranean sea coast. And the amount of snow can be astonishing also. It can exceed half of the meter easily, but yeah, it doesn't stay long. But also there are um, some old snow wells here in the area somewhere which are the witness of the cold trade in the past centuries. And this is from the cultural perspective, is uh, one of the outstanding elements. Last couple of kilometers we've been getting through the whole Aitana range, following it from one side to the other, and now soon we'll be facing the descent down, which we don't know how difficult it's going to be, because for now it's been like pretty gentle, very nice to follow, sometimes rocky, you know, and some rocks are can be slippery or spiky, but otherwise it's been amazing, like seeing all those views for many hours 
it's just a pure joy and on one side we have like the vertical abrupt cliff abrupt wall and here you can you know nicely follow this range and be around such beauty So for now it's obvious that the last couple of kilometers after the turn of the circle uh, are going on the Dorka road, like farmer's road, however you want to call it, gravel, made of gravel and it's very easy, as you can see, costs you nothing to do, feels like just walking in the forest and we enjoy that there is some forest and trees around and also the smells <laughs> are back of the yellow bushes and flowers. So yeah, we're almost at the end of the trail and getting there. So we are right back to our starting point, Pont de Partijat. It was a spectacular route, not too difficult. The pass was well trodden and had practically no difficulties and no extreme parts. All the way we've been enjoying beautiful views all around and then there were moments we felt like pressing the shooting button and leave it for the whole trail like that, with no cutting. Yeah, it would be definitely an experiment, we haven't done that before. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna interest you guys, but yeah, this is how we felt on this trail. We do think that this trail is accessible to most of the people and to all the physical shapes. Well, you better have some mountain experience, prior mountain experience, uh, for the you know more technical part of it. But for the rest of it, having you know the nice trail running shoes or boots is enough and the trekking poles for the parts as well as you know not carrying too much weight carrying enough water of course most of the trail goes in the sun and there is very little shade yeah. right so be careful in the summer yeah carry enough water because you have no places to resupply basically yeah. and no shade to hide so yeah take care about it maybe it's better to take the portable umbrella with you if you are going to hike in the summer of course start as early as possible we always tell that it's very important 
But right now, uh, you know, in autumn, winter and spring season until the end of March, it is bearable to hike in the afternoon as we did, but still we felt like the sun is quite strong and, you know, probably we burned our faces a bit. Yeah. As you can see, it's like a reddish right now. So yeah, um, just bear that in mind. And the stroke can be done in any direction, clockwise or anti-clockwise. We did it in anti-clockwise way, but we can say that there is no particular difficulty or difference, you know, doing it either way. So overall, we're very happy about this trail that we decided to do it finally, because at first we were like hesitating whether it's interesting or not. You know, Aitana is, you know, looking from the side as a very like gentle slope with no like interesting parts, especially from the seaside view of it but no there is like vertical walls lots of you know beautiful cliffs mountains and rocks rock formations and yeah there is lots of potential for you know photographs and video and yeah and you feel like you're conquering the peak even though there is like a military base there but it doesn't come in the way you can still like you have plenty of time to enjoy the views falling through the mountain range so yeah we can be happier about it so leave us a comment down below, sharing your thoughts about this trail. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more hiking trips to come. Check out our other hike reports from the Proids of Alicante. We've been hiking quite a lot in the area. We hope you enjoyed it too. That is all for today's hike. We're saying goodbye and until next hiking trip. Bye, Bye. guys.